Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Rose. I'm Todd, and today we're gonna to talk turnbuckles. We're gonna talk about the Happy Jack Quick Loads and the Torque Lift Fast Guns. Let's get to it. First up, let's talk about the Torque Lift Fast Gun. These are probably the most common that you may see out there if you are a uh, truck camper person you have a truck camper yourself or if you're looking to buy a truck camper you're going to need some sort of a turnbuckle there are other options than these that i'm going to show you however torque lift fast gun is one of the most popular one it's got the quick release handle and it's great it comes in different lengths you can get the long one like this or it comes in a short one which we don't have but uh, a great alternative to this is this one this is the Happy Jack Quick Load, and they also have a long version in this as well. Um, this is the short version, obviously, uh, but it has the quick release handle, just like the fast gun. Um, one, this does have uh, one big thing that I like is you can actually adjust it while it's on the uh, tie down to the camper and truck uh, without actually having to unhook it. So. I will show you that, but uh, we want to say thank you to eTrailer for providing us with these Happy Jack quick loads. Uh, so that way we could try them out. And so far, we're loving it. Uh, it it's, it's different than the Fast Gun. They're both great. Um, the Fast Guns we bought on eTrailer, and eTrailer provided us with these to try out. So we're giving it a shot. And We'll put a link to both of them down below. So check that out if you're interested in either one of these. The, the great thing about the Happy Jack Quick Load is the price. The price is great. It's literally, if, you, if you're on a tight budget, the price is literally about half the price of the Torque Lift Fast Gun. Uh, they, they both work, they both do the same job. I mean, I do love the, the Fast Guns. We've used them for years and it's a great product. But so far, we've been using the, the Happy Jack Quick Load and it's great too. So let me uh, hook about up on the camper and show you how it works. First off with the Happy Jack Quick Loads, when, it, when you get it, it just comes in a box and the handle is not on the unit itself. It just has one screw right there. So basically you just slide the handle in and uh, put the screw on then you just thread in the, the bottom rod with the hook on it and it's uh, real easy. However, when you get the, the fast loads, fast guns, the handle's already just, it's just built in, it's just part of it. So there's no assembly there, but no big deal. I mean, the handle works. So let's go ahead and hook it up to our camper and, and show you how it works here. So I just hook it in up there, it's gonna loosen the handle, drop it into our bottom hook there, and then just latch it down, it's that easy. And then you have, it comes with a, a pin and you can put the pin right through the hole there. And then that way it just keeps the, the unit from coming apart if you're you know going down the road, just locks it in place. However, one thing I really do like that I found after so I started using these that I really like is it's just easy to adjust. So if I wanna just lift the handle, all I have to do is rotate this barrel and and just adjust it however I feel like I need it. Right now I'm loosening it, so it's just real easy. And then it does come with a nut that you, you can put on the bottom rod and then you can just spin that up. And then if you wanna take a wrench, you can tighten that up and then this thing is not going anywhere. Uh, I don't feel like it's going to anyhow, but uh, that's just like a, an extra lock that you can put on there. So having the adjustability while it's still on there and not having to unhook it and spin the bottom rod. See, if you have the, the fast guns, which are great, I love them. These are, this particular model is too long for our setup. This would be more for a pickup version uh, style mount where I have the, the truck mount uh, coming out from underneath uh, the bed of the truck. Those torque lift mounts work really well. Uh, there's some play in it just because it makes it easy to slide in and out, but once you lock it down, it's, it's good and tight. So 
That's what we use on all four corners. They bolt on to the frame, so they're, they're quite easy to, to use. And they're fairly easy to install. So um, having a frame mount down there, these would need to be longer. But the only way to adjust this is to turn the, the bottom rod and just change the threads, you know, looser or tight. So that's not a big deal either, but you do have to unhook it and then put it back on. So having these, these quick loads where you can adjust it on the fly and then just snug it up however, wherever you want it, it just makes life so much easier on it. And uh, so I've, I've really enjoyed that so far. And then just lock it down, put the pin in there. So Torquelift does have these. These are the spring load version. It's a lot like the Torquelift fast gun, but it has no handle on it. So it's kind of like this. The Happy Jack quick load is kind of a combination of the two because this one, if it's hooked in there, you actually can rotate this and tighten it, but you got to do a lot of loosening, a lot of tightening to actually snug it up or lo loosen it up. So these are not quick to be able to adjust or take on and off. They work, they work, work just fine. Um, so this is kind of like the best of both worlds and it's literally, it's just about half price. So check e-trailer on that. Go to their website, check that out because for the price, if you're on a budget, um, it, it's just, it's a great deal. Um, like I said, these do also come in the long version. So you can check that out if you need, if you need that. In our case, we needed four short ones. So these go from, uh, from 16 to approximately 16 to 23 inches in length. And on the, in the instructions here, they say you can actually cut the rod. So if you need to, actually the way it comes assembled, it will not go to 16 inches. You actually have to cut the rod where, it's, where it says per the instructions. So, uh, but you can actually get it down there and then it works great. Um, the torque lift does have a small version of this. And if I remember correctly, that goes from four to approximately 14 to 21 inches. So, um, you know, so they're real similar, but with our flatbed setup that we have, we needed four short uh, turnbuckles here in order to actually tie this down. So uh, let me flip this bottom bracket around and show you why I wanted some that will go short because I'm probably going to cut these down and shorten these up. So let me do that real quick. What I'm using here are these, I don't even know what you call them, but they're just tie down anchors with these D-rings. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually using them upside down. It works quite well. To, I'm not saying you should do it that way. I'm just saying that's how I'm doing it and it seems to be working, so. Uh, but they will, they're, ma they're made to actually go this, the right side up. So put it right side up, put your, put your bolt through, and then put the, put the pin in there. And then there it is. Then you can use it to tie down whatever you want. Okay, now I've turned over the D-ring stake pocket anchor. So... I have this basically at its shortest length right now, so it's a little bit too long. However, like I said, I can cut this bottom rod, so I will probably be doing that. I just haven't done it yet because I wasn't sure if I wanted to cut it quite yet because it's working in the in, in the other way that I have been using it. So um, I will probably end up doing that. Um, I'm also thinking about possibly adding another anchor on the bed and then actually if I cut it, it'll actually work just fine for that too, because it'll be a little bit shorter. So that is a, that's, it's a good option with these is you can make them shorter if you need to. Uh, the fast guns, you can actually cut down the rods on those as well. I don't know that if they approve that, so you'd have to check the specs on that. Um, however, I've seen people do that, cut them down. Um, but I was not able to use these, if you can see the thread here, 
the thread does not go all the way down. So if it had gone all the way down, I probably could have threaded this all the way up in and, and used it, but uh, it, that wouldn't work. But one thing nice about the, the fast guns is you can buy these, these, these lock system here like that. And, and it'll actually just go in, goes through there and, and just locks on there. Or, cause it has a big, a big hole right there. Or you can just use a lock like that, which I've done many times, just slide it through there and lock it. However, on the Happy Jacks, it has the hole for the pin, um, but the, it's a, just a tad bit small for the lock to fit. Well, I might, might have just made a liar on myself. No, it won't go through. It's just a hair small. Um, I may actually kind of just possibly drill that out and make that fit. Um, just, it's just nice to have a lock on there. To know that nobody can steal them or that sort of thing. But um, so far these Happy Jack quick loads, it's a great deal for, for half the price of the fast guns. Right now I'm loving both of them. They both work great. So, you know, whatever you find out, whatever your needs are, you can check them out on the e-trailer. Um, but for, like I said, half the price, you know, for $450 or so with the current price is for four of them versus uh, it's about like $900 or $950 or something for the, the fast gun. So, you know, it's a big difference in price. Um, the, the fast guns, I think you can get in a couple different finishes. So that may be an option there too, but, um, so check it out. If you're a truck camper person or, you, or you're looking to get a truck camper, you're going to need some sort of a turnbuckle. Um, you don't have to get one with the quick release, but it does make life a whole lot easier when you're out camping and you're taking the, the camper on and off the truck. So check out the Happy, Happy Jack quick load. I think you're going to like them. And we'll see you next time. Appreciate you watching. Please like, tag, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye.